Hi traders, how are you? Welcome to a new Sierra chart video guide. I'm going to be talking specifically about something that a lot of people ask me in DMs or in the comments. And this is more specifically geared towards the footprint charts using a candle overlay. This is a type of chart that I really like to use and I have templates available for download on this on my website. Plus, I also made a video guide here on YouTube on my Sierra chart playlist, which I'm going to link in the comment below where you can see the step by step of how I build a basic footprint chart. And then also there's a video how I turn that regular footprint chart into one with an overlay of a candlestick in the middle. Now, if we go here to the screen, sometimes people will open the chart and it's not going to be displaying properly. This is an example that I just made to show you of how it may look like. You can see we have the footprint chart. This is the ES 3000 ticks, but you can see the candles are very thick, so they're blocking a lot of the numbers that we have here, a lot of the minuses for the negative delta numbers. This is a volume by delta, by the way. Sometimes I use bid by ask, sometimes I use volume by delta, but you can see some numbers are blocked. Now you could go in and start expanding and expanding the chart in order to see the numbers properly, but you know, you don't really want to be super zoomed in because you want to have a better picture overall. So I like to be a little more zoomed out. But then you can see like the numbers. It looks like a mess. The candlesticks are covering everything. So I'm going to show you the simple setting that you can use in order to change this. So again, remember, this is not the default numbers bar study. This is using a candlestick overlay. If I hide it here, you can see that we just have basically a footprint chart without the outline of, a, of the candlestick showing. I can go into, setting, <coughs> into settings and if I go into the um, outline, So this is what a basic footprint chart will look like in Sierra chart where you have the bid by ask. In this case, you can choose different separations. This is just separated by an X, but then you can see by default, you would just get this outer um, marking of the candlestick with the wick and the body around the whole thing. Now, you know, some people like this one better, but I do think this looks a lot nicer and more uh, clear. And also I like that the candlesticks match the other charts that I'm looking at. So how do we fix the width of this? You would simply go to the chart menu, graphic settings chart, and then under other the first option says candlestick width. I would do something like 10, apply. And now you can see how all the candlestick overlays are going to be nice and thin. And you know, you can make it even thinner if you want. Again, just chart, graphic settings chart, other, and you have it right here. And in this case also, I got a whole video on this, but for my footprint charts, I usually have this option unticked, use global settings, because for my footprint charts, I will usually have specific graphic settings for this, so I don't want it to copy every other setting on all my charts, okay? But that's pretty much it. So now you can see how even if I scrunch up the chart, I can still have a pretty clear view of all the numbers or I can zoom in. But that's pretty much how you can control the thickness of the candlestick footprint overlays from my templates that I got on my website available for 
uh, purchase and download. Okay, hope you're having a great day and I will see you all in the video soon.